Yes team, welcome back to the first camp of 2023. First off, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you all had an awesome festive period. I hope Santa came. I hope you all got a little drunk and had a nice time with your family and all that. And to those of you who are alone, sending my love to you. Nobody should be alone at Christmas. I'm really sorry. And those of you that don't celebrate Christmas, well, it's just another day then, isn't it? But anyway, we're out. All the wood in this forest is pretty sodden, to be honest. So we've got our work cut out for us today to get some wood in for the campfire tonight. I'm in a lovely bit of woodland today. I'm in a predominantly pine with a load of silver birch and the odd beech and the odd oak tree. It's been raining quite heavily. It's still pretty miserable up there. It's very grey. And I've got a new bit of kit that I'm out camping with as well today. A new type of shelter, which I'm really excited about. I bought it back in October, but I had to wait till the end of November for it to get delivered because it was still being made. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that I love camping under tarps and I love camping in bivvy bags. Really excited to show you. So here you are. This is the Outhouse Hobart Canvas Swag 900. The idea, I guess you could say, is close to a hooped bivvy or a bivvy in general. Just slight different way of setting it up. Not the cheapest product on the market, but then canvas products that are going to last you a lifetime if you look after them never are. There's a nice chunky mattress on the inside, although it does take up a lot of space. Fly screen slash ventilation slash window on the end. Pegs down on each corner. On the end you've got two straps with four D-rings so you can roll it all up. It compacts a lot better that way and you can also leave the mattress inside it so you can keep it all together as one. Waterproof tub on the bottom as well. Good quality chunky zips. Well stitched. Nice eyelets there. And there's a number of different ways you can set it up as well. You don't have to have it like I've got it there. I think in the fair weather I'll use it as a little bit of a tarp as well. I'll put a post in each end so then I've got a little sandwich shelter. One of the main reasons I bought this is for some of the stealthier camps because it's really low profile. If you walk about 10-15 metres that way you can't even see it. So that's going to come in real handy for some future plans that I've got. I've set the basher up as well, just for somewhere to sit and process wood this afternoon, just in case it does rain. I know some of you might be thinking, well, if you've set the basher up, why wouldn't you just set it up over the swag? Although I want to give this bit of kit a proper test. I think it might rain tonight, so I want to see how well it performs. Time to go and get some wood in. We're already pushing like half two, quarter to three now, so we want to get a nice stock in so we don't have to worry about it too much when it gets dark. This is a bit of a late start for me. I normally get out nice and early in the morning. But it feels so nice to be back out in the woods, back out on a little solo camp. I had big plans to build some stuff and carve some things up today, but I'm just looking forward to cooking tonight and sitting around that fire. That's what I've been looking forward to. my Grands Falls Brook small hatchet. I really like this bit of kit. I realised quite quickly when I bought my Forest Axe by Halter Falls that I wanted something smaller and this is perfect for most camp tasks. It's just a nice size to chuck in the side pouch of my kit. Decent sized dead standing we got here. Little wet on the outside, but they're back at camp now, so I'm just going to saw them as and when I need them. We're losing the light really quickly, it's almost time for the head torch. I've got to snap most of these branches down just to get them to nice kindling. Saw and split a few of these, get a nice base, and that's about it. There's loads of nice fat wood in that pile that I axed up earlier. 
So we're gonna have no trouble getting this fire going even with the wet wood. Here's our chunky bit of fat wood that we're going to start with, with a few curls. That's just back of the knife, scraped into dust. Got two little bundles, loads of kindling. We should have no issues with that, even in the rain, that should get us going nicely. So just before I light the fire then, I'm going to drop a little montage of clips in, because I managed to get a little camp out just before Christmas with Bellows Ben, Primal Nomad was there, our mate Tim, and community camp legend Bill. It was really nice to get a camp with them all and it was around that time the year before that myself, Ben and Liam met up and we did a whole roast dinner so we thought it would be pretty fitting to make the exact same meal so here you go, I'll drop them in now. Fancy a quick walk? Yeah. Let me take, let me take you over there to show you. <laughs> Morning Shagger. Morning Shagger. Morning Shagger. Going? Welcome right? back to the videos, Ben. Oh, it's been a man. while, hasn't yeah, it? It's been too long. Been too long. It's good to be back. How are you feeling, bro? Yeah, I'm all right. Glad to be out camping, yeah, obviously. Cold night last night. Got the boys, mate, Tim and Bill. Bill woke me up this morning at <laughs> half past five. I was in my bed with my two new pillows, <laughs> new headboard, comfy. Get a phone call, half past five. I'm on my way, Ben. <laughs> <sighs> Brilliant. Oh, what a boy, yeah, though. Nah, what I'm a friend. boy. Yeah, absolutely. We love him. Yeah, we do. What are we getting down to? I think we're getting down to minus five, minus four. It's you had it worse last weekend, minus, didn't you? Yeah, it was minus, minus eight, minus nine. Cold one, man. We're definitely in winter now, like. Yeah. There's Tim's hammock. The double DD multicam. Pretty cool under blanket. I've never used an under blanket. No, I've only done the hammock once. I didn't like it. <laughs> Ben's not a hammock fan. He's not a hammock camper. Do you know what I like? I like Tim's map. Yeah. Okay, so they got the bird bath. Oh, let's go see Tim's bird bath. Look at this. Uh, it's frozen up. Look, he burnt it in. Have you been putting mealworms and stuff in there? Mealworms. We've got a Camp Robin. Tell yeah. us about the Camp Robin. Camp Robin's here every morning. He's been here this morning. He was here yesterday, though I didn't see him. Tim did. Mealworm shelf. Yeah. Going on and take a little bit, and it will regrow. It's, it's, it's basically what we call sustainable. So. sustainable. All right, lads. You. Absolutely stunning Bill. over there, Craig. Yeah. I've got, I got some beautiful pictures. Awesome, man. Oh man. Yeah. I feel Is privileged it? to be here this morning. I mean, it? it was like walking into uh, a bit of Narnia there. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm going out on a hunt to find four whys because we've got a whole chicken to spit tonight to go with our roast dinner, our Christmas dinner. Tell us about your homemade Baileys then, Bill. Well, it's just uh, condensed milk, a bit of chocolate cream, um, whiskey, and uh, that's about it, and sugar. Oh, let's go then. You got a cup? Oh, that's nice and thick. <laughs> Creamy. Uh, no thank you, thank you, but no thank you. Pussy. 
What's up, bro? Good, how are you, man? I'm good, mate. I'm good. All squared away out in the Lavoo. Yeah, that's it. Keep yeah, me nice and cosy tonight. You look like you've got a right good little bed space going on, man. Oh, What's the score? Right. I've got me Christmas sunglasses, of course. Oh, yeah. It's got to be done. We're all wearing them. It's got to be done. <laughs> that's Elton John over there. <laughs> you just, so who do you reckon, everyone? Who do you oh, reckon good. Bill looks like? Oh, I don't know. Whoever's watching, leave, leave a comment. Leave a comment who does Bill look like? <laughs> give us a, give us I, a I famous singer, home, you know, famous singer that Bill resembles in the sunglasses. <laughs> We've got Wheatus, Elton. There's Tim. Little Kurt Cobain. Kurt. Your upper body's not doing very much. Oh. When you're out here, you're constantly using all of it. You don't realise it, you're just yeah. enjoying yourself. All right, your lizard. It offers me more yeah, yeah. at the moment. No. What's the matter? You're rare. Okay, shall I go home? Yeah. Yeah, we don't make you happy. See ya. Primal, primal, do blood. East Anglian bushcraft. Bushcraft, do craft, new craft, it's bushcraft. The Lizard King. That's right. Yes, lads. Yeah, I'm out. Yep. Awesome pastime. Chicken's crisping up. Thick gravy, pigs in blankets, giant Yorkshire puddings over there. All the chickens in the billy can. Got some broccoli. Oh, my eyes are burning. <laughs> the smoke is unreal. Some roast potatoes, some carrots, some parsnips. Stuffing. Stuffing. We've done ourselves proud, boys. Well in, lads. Yeah. Morning, Craig. Good How'd you morning, sleep, sir. mate? What? How'd you sleep, mate? Terribly. Terribly? Yeah. Merry Christmas, mate. I like your sunglasses. Oh, thanks. Yeah. How's your coffee? I'll tell you right now. Okay. Oh, it's bloody lovely, mate. <laughs> Expected nothing less. Hey! Wheatus is in the building. Hey. Teenage dirtbag baby like you. <laughs> yeah, my love, boo. <laughs> They say we're wishing them days away. Well, good morning, everyone. What a nice chill to leave than that was. That roast dinner we cooked was absolutely banging. Probably one of the best meals I've ever had out on a camp. And I'm wearing this new jacket. It's by a company called iHood. A little gift from them. I'll just press a button, turn it on. It was nice to wear, nice to try out. Really nice jacket, actually. And you can warm up different parts of the jacket at different times and there's three heat settings i put it on the hottest one this morning and it gives you a maximum time before it'll automatically go down to the medium so you don't rinse the battery and you don't overcook it but yeah good bit of kit actually i'm going to be using this again for sure all right isn't it a bit of scrambled egg and some bacon got the wraps on the go as well yeah and uh we're all safe and sound we had a lovely walk in in the frost, didn't we, Bill? Eh? We had a lovely walk in in the frost, oh, didn't we? Oh, was lovely. Mind you, you were a sight for sore eyes when I saw you in the morning. Yeah, I was it. <laughs> Lemotron. Let's tip it out. Hey, dude. Lemotronus. It's getting packed away. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Lemonati. <laughs> OG. Love you, Liam. That's it. Good camping with you, dude. I forget how like close your lens is. I'm like, oh, I'm so close. <laughs> I can get your, your... Now your face is covering the lens. Really? Oh. Oh. Bill, can I ask you a question? Yes, Craig. If you could give any life advice to anyone younger than yourself, such as me or anyone here, what would it be? Take one day at a time and enjoy every single second that you've got, because young or old, nothing's guaranteed, Craig. Um, You're a gent, Bill. Yes, uh, nothing's guaranteed, you know. Just get on with it and enjoy. Cooking up some mac and cheese samosas. Starting to rain now as well. Probably hear it on the tarp. Everyone's just getting squared away. I'm all packed up now, bed sorted out. 
My little area is clean and tidy. bit smoky tonight you can tell that wood's still a bit damp but we're going so I'm happy I can instantly feel the warmth coming off of that although I've been pretty warm all day in my barber jacket I don't know why I don't wear this more I've had it for years but I normally wear it if I go to the pub or shopping or whatever fire is on camp vibes are alive feeling good has anyone had one of these it's a 4.6 they're calling it an everyday hazy pale really nice beer it's definitely my top three at the minute it's so light and easy to drink you can put a few of them away in no time how's it going little fella come to chill with me for the evening dude be my guest mate so I've decided rather than chopping all the logs I'll just lay them all out and feed them into the fire there's no work needed then Rain's coming down now. I'm looking forward to this, grubs up, let's go. Oh. That smells delightful. I don't normally add spring onion to korma, but I've got quite a lot of it to use up because I brought it for breakfast. Right, I'll leave you while I finish this. Still got loads of wood left for the morning, so I can chop some of it up and make some kindling just so I can cook breakfast. I've cleaned the skillet as well. That's packed away, everything's nice and tidy. That korma went down an absolute treat. That was delicious. I've let the fire go out now and I'm getting pretty tired. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Jump in the new body bag and test run that for the night. I'm actually quite looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie. Peace. Morning! <laughs> what a wicked bit of kit. See, it's got this flap here, just so you don't have to stand on the uh, cold or wet floor. What an awesome night that was. I didn't feel claustrophobic at all. That's the one thing I was thinking, but this does give you enough headroom. So when you're laying in there, there's nothing on your face. It does keep it off your body enough. So I'm really happy with that. We'll have a look on the inside just to see how dry it stayed. It does feel a bit damp. I don't know whether that's from condensation or water coming through. I would imagine it's kind of seeped through during the night a little bit, but I did stay dry. I brought the bivy bag as well. I wasn't sure how well this is gonna perform, but I didn't feel wet. It definitely didn't go through my bivy bag. I think that'll be the one and only night though that I use the mattress that comes with it inside there, just because it makes it quite bulky. If I don't bring the mattress, then I can put the whole bit of canvas inside my bag and it fits nicely under the top flap. But as soon as you bring that mattress, you need to bring the carry case and the bag is massive. I'll show you when I pack up how big the bag is. Clearly it's not sold as a bit of lightweight camping gear. It is canvas. I did want to try it out with the mattress just because that's how I bought it, that's how it comes. I wanted to use the product as it is, but unless I'm pitching right next to the car or it's a very short walk into the woods, I don't think I'll be using that mattress, but yeah, very comfortable nonetheless. What did you all do for Christmas and New Year then? And have you got any New Year's resolutions? 
For my Christmas I went up north to see my family. I spent Christmas Day with my mum and my brother, which was really nice. Mum did a really nice Christmas dinner. And then on Boxing Day I went over to see my dad, his wife Diane, my grandma, that side of the family. Went to a Middlesbrough home game, which was really good, and then straight back into work. So I just had four days off over Christmas. But for the channel and myself, nothing changes this year. I want to get out camping as much as possible, same as last year. I want to get out of East Anglia, do a few more crazy camps, a few more out there ones and just get around the country a little bit. I want to get up to the Lake District. I'm planning on going up to Scotland soon because if you remember Sherwood Quick Quiver, when I hid him in Sherwood Forest, he's been camping all around the UK with him. He sent me a load of photos and he's hidden him in Scotland for me. He sent me the what three words, so I'm going to go on a rescue mission to go get Sherwood. I'm just trying to find some dates that are going to line up well for me to go up there and do it. So. I'm looking forward to that one. I haven't been camping in Scotland in years, literally years. And just to have the right to roam up there where you don't have to really worry about where you're camping. Yeah, the Lake District as well. I haven't been back to the lakes for quite a few years. I spent a few days there with Catherine in a cottage, but I haven't camped up there. So that's on my list. I want to get back over to Wales as well, just because it's so beautiful there. It's probably my favorite country to camp in. I just absolutely love it. So this morning, I think we're going to get this fire on, get a coffee and rustle up some breakfast then. Breakfast is served, bacon with a little bit of mature cheddar on there, a couple of eggs, some pepperami, some red pepper and some spring onion, a little bit of pepper on top. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready for another community camp. So it's that time again when I ask if any of you have got any land, preferably woodland, that can host up to about 100 people for our small community to come together as one and have a weekend in the woods. As close to a wild camp as we can get it. That's how the first few community camps went. It was a real success. And as I always say, it's kind of spurted on little sub-communities within the outdoors community. And there's now loads of little groups of lads and lasses camping together, which is really cool. So if anyone would be willing to host, then please let me know. Send me an email. I'll leave it in the description and we can sort something out. And then I'll put the invitations out for you guys to email me. It'll be a first come first serve thing again. But please don't email yet. Let's wait till we get a location sorted. I think we're going to go back and do Scarborough again in the spring. But the woodland's being rested at the minute. So once that's all good to go, probably looking about May time for that. We'll host back up there. But if we can get something sorted before then, that would be really cool. Just let me know. So if you remember before Christmas, I announced a little giveaway for Gibraltar Trading Company. I forgot to do the draw in the last video, so I'm going to put the two names that have won the black beanies and the two names that have won the grey beanies. Congratulations. Fire me your address on Instagram or email. I'll get it over to Gibraltar Trading Company and they can get them fired out for you. I like camping in all the seasons just because you really get to experience nature that way. You notice the change in the seasons a lot more. A few of you will probably recognise this spot. It's like the third time I've camped here, I think, now. Once was in the snow, once was only like three or four videos ago. It's just a really nice spot, I like it here. I really like the forest, it's a lovely area. Sun comes through the trees in the morning as well. Okay, I'll show you how small it packs down when it's rolled up without the mattress in it. And I'll show you the difference and how big it is when the mattress is in it. So this is how I'm gonna use it normally. Fold the sides in just to narrow it down a bit. Roll it to the end, through both, back through the first, pull tight, and then I just wrap the spare round. And that's it. It's not too bad, is it, really? Now I'll show you with the mattress in it, though. And that's the difference. But like I say, it's not sold as a lightweight bit of kit. You could easily just pop the boot, take that out the back, roll it out, peg it down, and you're good to go.
Right then team, I think that's it from me today. No trace been left at camp. As you saw, fire was put out properly. Scattered all the cold ashes in the earth. That was stone cold. Backfilled it all. No rubbish, final checks are good. There's your jet. Catch you on the next one. Peace.